Mind you, these numbers are not what they were in 2019 and other years before the pandemic, but they know more people are coming. SeaTac is getting busier. There are more flights, more people, more opportunities for the virus to spread. Stopping the spread is on everybody's mind here, especially as the holidays draw closer. At its lowest point as the pandemic took hold, only 2,500 passengers departed through SeaTac. The peak numbers these days around 20,000. That's a big improvement. Around Thanksgiving, they're talking about 29,000 or higher. There are 8,000 stickers urging people to maintain their social distance. Free masks if you need one. Behind the scenes at Cafe Darte, I get to go through what employees go through from temperature checks. 96.8. And how are you feeling today? To hand washing, to having my hands checked by ultraviolet light to see what I missed. David Fukuhara runs this restaurant group. Uh, there's a large program to keep travelers and employees safe, and we're right there in the middle. You know, we're the ones that travelers interact with. One place not built for social distancing, the trains. The airport putting up screens, encouraging people to wait for the next one if social distancing dissolves. Lance Little is SeaTac's managing director. The pressure is on as the next wave of COVID cranks up nationwide. But where is the airport's concern level when it comes to possible spread of this disease because you're expecting more folks through. Right, so what we're doing, we're trying to ensure that we uh, create this environment that's as safe and healthy as possible for the people who choose uh, to travel. And everyone in this hard hit industry knows the pandemic could take another bite out of aviation. James Rigg just arrived from LA. This was my second flight. Where's your confidence level now about staying safe while flying, meaning on the plane, going through the airport, etc.? On a scale of 1 to 10, 7? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm a 9.5. Daryl Driscoll also takes extra precautions. She, too, is just making her second flight. If it was a year ago, she would have made a dozen. I feel it's very safe. I don't spend any extra time in the airport. The airport also plans to roll out other things such as rapid COVID testing. Also just last week, they opened up a concession where a company is going to be able to test you for COVID. If you can prove you're negative and you go to a place like Hawaii, you won't have to endure a 14 day quarantine when you arrive. At SeaTac Airport, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.